It's just going to be a, a constant contact warm up. If you break contact, you get 10 quick push ups. Okay? If you break contact, now you don't have to break contact, but if you break contact, you drop down, you get 10 push ups, you jump back up, you go. Do not have a coach call you out where you broke contact and did not drop to your hands. Because if that happens, you owe 25. Okay? There's no problem. We want to make mistakes. Making mistakes makes us better. This is what it's going to look like. Yeah, just drop it right now. We'll get that. So we're going to add to what we've been doing. You know, it's going to start just by being in contact. And as we're in contact, when you want to find a wrist, sometimes it's easier to find the body. The body's not going to change much, okay? Coach, not to bring up a real bad subject, but uh, when you're on the firing range, two to the body, one to the head, what do you do? Is that it? Hit the body first. Yeah, hit the body first. You, you, you know where the body's at. It's a bigger target, okay? If you aim at the head, you might miss it. Hit the body. Then you want to go back and hit the head. Okay. Now, really morbid, but we train a lot in the United States. That's, that's military, police. They do a great job for us. So, you know, but when they draw their, their, their sidearm, they're not there to warn you. The warning's done, okay? So, what we want to do, we want to hit the body. We want to tap the body, so come in, hit the body. We're going to make contact here. Now, when we want the hands, we're going to go down. Hopefully, his hand is always at the end of his arm. Now, we got a problem. So, when you get here, now, we're going to start moving, working, okay? One thing I want, I'm going to be telling you is that as, Guys that put their hands on your back like this, they want to pull you. They're going to pull you at some point. Just be ready for the pull. When I pull you, body lock me. I pull you, body lock me. Yeah, step around even deeper. As soon as I pull you, you step. Now, look at deep, how deep that was. That's a beautiful body lock, okay? Guys that put their hands back here, they'll all be a puller at some point in that match because they've been taught to do this. It's an off balance. If you fight off this arm a little bit, it's on a wrist. This guy will do this. He'll, he'll, he'll see if it'll work. When he sees it'll work, as soon as you feel the pull, you step. Lock. Load. Now do it to a lift. Now we're in here working. We're working. All of a sudden you feel this arm get here. I haven't pulled yet. I feel this arm right here. He's working. And all of a sudden he goes, you step. Here it is. You can take this right now. But you've got to be ready for it. So we're going to start slow in here working all the time. It's going to be cool. So when he pulls, he body locks. I pull, you step. Boom. Now, I pull, you step, you lift. Okay? Now, as soon as he lifts you, walks you backwards, stop a lift with a lift. Get back down. Now this drill ramps up pretty hard pretty fast. So we'll go slow. Let's just ride it here. First bit contact. Good contact. Wrestling. Now you feel the hand come back there. Now you get ready to step. Pull, step, float. Now I fight lift. Quick lift. Stop it here. Now he fights him. Fights him. He's got his hand back here. Pull him. Now he fights down. You gotta get back out of this. There you go. Now we wrestle again. Just keep playing. One, two. Play this one first. Close, come on, come on, get going. Too much time walking back and forth. Can't do that. On most of these, we can stay in close. We want to have full mat. It's going to be, he takes the same side wrist. As soon as he does, I'm going to, I'm going to shear it off and hit an angle on him right away. So all we're doing is walking out. He's taking a wrist. He? Get an angle. As he faces me, you know I'm looking here. Get you back to here. If I have an underhook, I have a wrist. Now he bites this down. Go ahead. Drag to a two on one. Okay? Just work that. Underhook. Two on one, two on one underhook. 
And sometimes I'll walk out, I'll take a risk like this, I'll go in, I'll get inside, I'll go here. Now he bites out of that. Put him back in. Bites out of that. Underhook. Head always goes on the same side as your tie. A lot of rotation now. Play. One, two. Good work. Two on ones and underhooks. Whatever shoulder he brings to you, you attack that arm. Head up. Remember, all your ties, your head are up. Your head is down and into it, that's negative wrestling. Even when you're trying to be positive. We're not fighting for bad underhooks. If your underhook starts to go bad or your head's on the wrong side, just attack the opposite side. Don't stay in bad, that's how you get thrown. Get out of it. Step around him. If you can step in, hip toss. But don't lose him. So if I'm here and I get two on one on this side, I end up on this side, two on one, I push pulling, and I'm moving. Now I reach around him, he fights out of it. I go here. I reach around him, he fights out of it. I step here, pop. Now he's back to his feet. Now we're keep working. Okay? Put that into this now. Go, play. One, two, go to work. Underhook, two on one, into that two on one, push, pull, drive, hip pop, throw him over. Make his heel fly. Step in and pop it. Make his heel fly. Hold on to it, he'll fix it. Now you're right back to wrestling. We don't let go of guys. We just exchange the next tie. Tie changes till you get in. Get in, throw it over. Remember, bring your heads up. Head stays up, hips down. Put your shoulders over top. I love it. Big problems. Deep wrestling. Step in, body lock, body lock, lift. Lift, have you fight it down. Stop the lift with the lift. Lock over the arm to take it. Start taking body locks. Body lock and lift. Find yourself down. Attack the elbow. Arm goes back. Come on, come on. Body locks and lift now. Fight down, fight down, fight down, fight down, fight down. Good. Vertical level change. Pull that elbow, pull that elbow, arm goes back. Take this arm back, remember? Take the arm back, lock him again, lock him again. Now lift here, this arm goes straight back, keep going. Make that lock go. There you go, now you're ready to go. Now you can go into a bi lock. You go into a bi lock, good, lift, lift, lock him. Now take that elbow, at the elbow, yes, pull it up at the elbow. Stop a little bit, lift, very good, now, body lock, now. Right there, good, now lift him up. You should be in exchange. He body locks your lift, you stop the lift the lift, you get back down to the ground, so you should do it. Body lock and lift him. You got to turn face, you got face, you got face, that's not good. That's not, there you go. Great. Shake that, good job. Nice warm up. Now, we're going to go body lock, stop the lift of the lift, slow spin on the back side of it. Looks like this. Step stage by boxing. Lift. Now I stop the key lift. I stop it and take this back. Now as soon as I get it to here, all I'm going to do is slide the shoulder through. I get it back and I slide the shoulder. Now I walk. Finish. Bring you back up. I by lock him. Get him up. Stop. Yep. Elbow. Yep. Pull. Pull. Get that shoulder through. Walk. Walk. Back up. You don't have to break. You guys know how to get back up out of these things. One, two. Slow spin. 
Combination. You're being attacked with a body lock. Fight and stop the lift first. And throw a spin. Work your way down. Throw shoulder through. Spin. Come right back to your feet. Don't disconnect. Fight up. Great job. Bring the circle. Find a spot on the orange. 